Hi all, Slava Meryudek here. Welcome to part 3 of Racing Telemetry Tutorials. Today I'd like to cover vital functions of the car. So let's start. Let's run our software and our project. And last time uh, we finished uh, with uh, section times and our new Monza map. So let's mm, let's load it. Uh, now you can see the map because we are in section times uh, tabular uh, tabular graph. So that's why you can see. Okay, but what are vital functions of the car? Vital functions uh, show you the most important uh, values functions of the car and uh, in real life we have about six vital functions mm, these are engine rpm mm, water temperature oil temperature mm, oil pressure mm, battery voltage actually i think and i think also lambda can uh, be here okay but because we mm, use games, they don't have all these uh, all these uh, channels. So let's add all possible vital channels. And I mm, say again that we are using uh, GTR to the game, and uh, sometimes names of channels can be slightly different. Okay, so what we want to do now is to add a new worksheet. Let's name it vital functions. Okay, and because we have two worksheets, we can uh, finally delete this one. We don't uh, want it. And of course, uh, let's rename the, the workbook. I, I think the vital functions name would be good here. Okay, so now what we want to do is to add a new graph, time distance graph. We right click here, then add, and then time distance graph. Okay. And uh, we have now a time distance graph properties. And we want to add mm, a channel. So we click, of course, add channel. And here we have all possible channels for GTR2 game. As you can see, there is a lot of them. But what we are looking for now is RPM. So we have engine RPM in this case. We click OK. And when we click uh, twice, uh, here we have channel properties. We can change units, uh, decimal places, color, upsampling, and scaling. Uh, and uh, I usually use manual scale. We can choose auto scale, then Motec will set the proper minimum and maximum values. So let's set uh, this manually. So let's set 0 and 1, 8,000. OK, and we click OK. And finally, we have our first graph. OK, so this is the first vital function of the car, which is engine RPM. Now, let's... Uh, add another function, another channel, sorry, which is water temperature. Okay, there's no water. I think it's called engine temperature. Yeah, exactly. So we click here and again. And now what is important? As you can see, we have two groups, group one and group two. If we click OK, then we'll have two separate mm, channels. 
if we put engine temperature clicking move up here in one group then obviously we'll have one um, two channels in one group here you can see the uh, the, the water uh, temperature and here you can see engine temperature okay but I'd like to have them separately so we have engine temperature and I think it's, it will be a good idea to add um, oil temperature together with engine temperature because they are usually more or less the same or very close to each other so we are looking for oil temperature okay we click OK and of course uh, around Celsius zero decimal places color is fine and we click OK and as you can see we have all possible vital functions vital channels of the car in this game because uh, we don't have mm, oil pressure and we don't have uh, battery voltage so that's all I hope you enjoyed the video and if you like subscribe if you haven't seen mm, previous uh, parts there is a link all the time and you can watch part one and part two and next time we are going to Barcelona to test with Porsche. Take care.